This for my bros, got it at a mother with mine is yeah. Love that bridge and I never look back guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be doing a tutorial on how i make a frontal wig and here are my bundles and my frontal um and they are blonde so i will be dying so i have my pantene pro v shampoo and conditioner that i use for all my wigs and bundles um and here you see me um when i first get them i like to wash my hair um just you know to get all the germs and whatnot <laughs> out of the hair it didn't smell but i like to clean my hair before i apply it on my head even though i will be dying this wig in another video but i just wanted to clean it anyway before i started making the wig is thoroughly washed and so basically it's just going to be repeating the same steps for each bundle obviously um i'm going to bring out my console and then keep washing each bundle same process just repeating over and over <laughs>
brushing each bundle thoroughly and now I am drying them, well, wringing them out. So I like to roll it in a towel like a, like a hair burrito <laughs> and press down to get all the hair, I mean hair, <laughs> all the water out of the hair um, before I lay it out to air dry overnight. Um, I like to handle the bundles too much. I don't like to put heat on them or anything. I just like to wring them out, brush in, and then lay them out to air dry overnight. morning all air dried and ready to go so I have my vent brush I comb feet pins sewing, I mean, well, sewing needles thread my dome cap and elastic band which is optional if you guys want extra security for your wigs here's my wig head so it's a size that um, you know make sure you measure your head before you buy a wig head um, and I don't have a like a hook in the back of my head, so I turn mine the opposite direction, um, and then I lay my ball cap, wig cap, on the wig head before I begin to apply the hair on it. So here's the frontal. My frontal is 12 inches. My, my bundles, I didn't mention before, are 20, 22, 24. Um, but however, my frontal, I like for it to be a lot shorter because I like the natural layering it gives with the longer bundles. Because um, I, I like to leave out my edges and blending like my hair and the frontal, it looks way more natural for the bundle. I mean, the frontal to be um, of shorter length um, you know, for that natural look and purposes. So here I am using my T-pins to pin the frontal down to the wig, um, because I'm about to get sewing, um, to sew the back of that frontal on top of the wig cap. So make sure your frontal is nice and flat um, and I like to pull it the sides down kind of at an angle so I know that it's gonna meet on each end um, you know kind of give it that um, help with giving it that flat look so it's not lumpy at the top as I'm trying to sew it and it's gonna be like from ear to ear um, evenly and not leave a bunch of lumps at the top. We want our wigs to be flat as possible, you know what I'm saying? So here I am threading the first thread. And I'm just gonna sew all the way across to the other side. And yeah.
so finally got the frontal on now i'm going to start with bundle number one um untangled <laughs> um so what i'm going to do is start from each end and just go from one side to the other and when i get to the end i'm going to flip um the side of the bun i'm not going to cut them because i don't want it to shed so i'm just going to flip it and then go sew in the opposite direction each side I end up on. So, um, I don't know, that sounds kind of crazy explaining it, <laughs> but you'll see how I do it or what I mean exactly by um, sewing from one end and then flipping the track um, and then sewing that down and then going back the opposite direction. This is where I flip the track back and so make a knot, um, sewing that down so it's flat on the end. And then from this point, I will begin sewing backwards in the opposite direction I just came from. So, um, hurry up. <laughs> it's too many technical difficulties. Okay, see? So then I flip it. And bring it back to the other side and then yeah tack it and begin sewing in the opposite direction
Alrighty guys, so unfortunately I did not film me closing the last track and attaching it to the back of the frontal. So I basically just sewed together the track and the back of the frontal together. For the fun part I'm done <laughs> so now all I have to do is cut the inside of or that little piece of the weight cap and cut that out um, because obviously we have a frontal we don't need that um, excess bald cap so what I'm gonna do is cut that off so nothing left but lace and yeah I showed you guys earlier that I have elastic band, but you can also use this piece as an elastic band if you don't have any, you know, extra elastic band on hand. So there you go, and we are done.